So I know, Justice, you're in a bit of a skid right now. How do you turn it around? Uh, I think we just got to keep our energy right. You know, Dame talked to us before practice and told us just to keep that winning spirit. And I, I think that's key uh, for guys just to stay positive, you know, um, stay in the moment and just, you know, enjoy this. You know, it's never good being in a slump, you know, as a team on a losing streak. But we got to find our way out of it. And I think just having that winning spirit uh, will be key. What did that mean to you to have Dame address you like that? Oh, it feels good. I mean, he's our, he's our leader. He's our captain. And even though he's out, he's still so engaged, even on the bench during the game. So um, it just feels common, to be honest. I know you guys started with defense in this practice. What would you like to see improvements in, in terms of D? Uh, just sticking to the game plan. You know, every game is a little different, but um, just doing a better job of executing. And I think our communication can be a little bit better uh, in our zone and in our man. So um, just improving in that matter. Yeah, Scotty Brooks uh, on, the, on the flip side said this is one of the best offenses I've ever coached. What does that mean to you? Uh, it means a lot. I mean, he coached some pretty good teams in, in Oklahoma, so uh, he might he might have been exaggerating, but nonetheless, uh, we'll, we'll take the compliment. Well, you do have a lot of weapons on this team that you guys all really have trust in. Yeah, they had three MVPs, <laughs> but uh, I guess we're better, so um, appreciate that, Scotty. You're a realist. I appreciate that also. But at the same time, you said sometimes you have to be, you know, a little bit less or actually more selfish and not look for your own shot and look for the extra pass. Is that something you guys are focusing on? Yeah, just uh, getting the best shot possible. Sometimes that's going good to great, and other times that's just shooting the ball when you're open. So um, just being mindful of the offense and the flow of the offense and shooting our shots in rhythm. And most importantly, I have to talk to you about Thanksgiving. Uh, Nas has some real, like, real strong opinions on stuffing. What are your favorite dishes? Stuffing slash dressing is a, is a high with a little gravy on top. Uh, I like the honey baked ham. Um, used to stand in line for that uh, quite a few times growing up, but um, can't go wrong with the, the honey baked ham and the, and the stuffing. So, oh, sweet, and sweet potato yams. That, that, uh, that's up there for me. Do we like pie? Oh, we love we love pie. Uh, <laughs> apple apple pie, peach pie, cobbler, apple, whatever you want to call it. Uh, sweet potato pie. Uh, yeah, I'll probably put on a couple pounds. So, <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll burn it off though. You're allowed. It you obviously have been in the league for a while now, too. Like, having vets on the team, imagine, like, when the team is struggling a little bit, it must help a little bit because you have the perspective of knowing that it is a long season and you guys aren't anywhere close to the end of it or, or even the middle of it. Yeah, I mean, it's for sure a long season and just having the experience I do have. I've been on teams that have kind of led the way throughout the season. I've been on a Miami team that um, was, like, 14 and 30 at the All-Star break and then went, 30 and 14 or you know the, the records flip-flop so uh, I have amazing perspective but um, I think just just winning the day is something that you know my brother and I always talk about just winning the day and uh, you stack enough wins you know things will start to turn in our favor so um, that's kind of how I approach it. There's got to be a balance between like obviously wanting to play well and knowing that you want to get wins but also having the perspective to know that like it, things take some time and it is a season. So. Yeah, for sure. They're, they're growing pains and everything that you do in life. And uh, right now we're going through one and hopefully we come out, you know, a couple inches taller. But um, adversity is what, what can make a group and uh, how, we, how we flip this and use it in our favor can really, you know, help us out in the long run.